Hello, and welcome to Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. In today's video, um, different way to start seeds. All right. Um, we're actually going to be using a uh, little windowsill container. Uh, the only thing I don't like about windowsill containers, even though I use them quite a bit, um, is I don't really like transferring... I kind of like growing in the container that I'm going to grow the plant in. Um, but, again, it's another way to start seeds. Um, and there's a couple different methods. Um, we'll get to that. Uh, but anyway, let's see what we're dealing with today. All right. <laughs> Looks like somebody burpeed in here. Um... Orange, orange, orange. Ah! Anyway, uh, now these are, as you can tell, burpee windowsill seed starting trays. Uh, these are supposed to be pop out reusable. The little silicone pieces down here in the bottom are supposed to make it easier to um, get the little plugs out. Um, that's why I bought these instead of the really cheap ones. Uh, these were about $10 a piece. Um, if I can find a link for them, I'll put it in the description. Caveat on that, la caveat on that later. Um, but, you know, if you go to the cheap ones, you can get 10 of them for like, the same price. Um, and, of course, today's seeds are uh, butterfly weed, just to see what I can do. All right, so story on these trays. Um, I spent m more to get a better quality product. It's burpee. You would think they'd be great. I ordered five. I have two. So, I had ordered, obviously, from the jungle site. And, uh, I received five. Three of them were broken. And... No, the pieces were not broken in the box, so it was not during shipping. Um, they were obviously broken in the warehouse, and they shipped them anyway. Uh, is that the fault of Burpee? Eh, definitely fault of Jungle Sight. Um, I don't know why I'm not. I'm saying one company name and none. Anyway, Amazon. Everyone knows what you mean. Um, so. Did the whole return process, which was surprisingly quite easy. Oh, I forgot to mention first. So, I had ordered five, and four out of the five were broken. They have a tendency to break right along where this little ledge edge meets this. And these little corners here will crack and start to separate. Right here. So... They will, uh, that, that's what they, they all were. They, four out of five were just either, this orange piece here was just missing, broken off. Sometimes even a chunk of this piece here was missing. Uh, sometimes it was just broke a little bit, or it was broke all the way down to where this was like either pushed down or pulled out. But like I said, four out of five were broken. Um, so... Did the return process, and uh, they sent me four replacements. Can you guess how many were broken? Three out of four were broken. So I sent those back and got my money back. I do not recommend these. Um, again, if you want them, use them. Up to you. I'm not going to buy them again. They may work great and do exactly what I need them to do. I'm not going through all that hassle again. Um, I'll just buy the cheap ones. You know, 10, 10 for $10 and, you know, they'll wear out after a while and i got to replace them. So be it. Um, I think it's just going to, it's a better choice. So I'll put a link in the description if you want them, buy them. 
I don't recommend them. I don't, well, why, why are you putting a link and talking about them if you don't recommend them? Well, because it's what I'm using. Um, and again, if you want them, want them. If you don't, you don't. It makes no difference. Well, not to me anyway. Probably not to Burpee either. But uh, just be forewarned that if you order them, unless you buy them in a store, um, they're going to they're gonna have issues. Which also doesn't make me think, it makes me think that they aren't going to last very long. That they're not as durable as you would hope for spending $10 on a windowsill seed starter. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get going. All right. All right, so we're going to take our little seed starter tray and open the package. Oh, so difficult. Anyway, what is this? Oh, actually pretty nice. See if you can see this here. So, on the tray itself, oh yeah, and these are definitely squishy. Um, it has these little nodes here. It says A, B, C, and D. And this is your little guide if you're doing, you know, different seeds. In a 1A, 2A, 3, 1A, 2A, 1B, 2B, 1C, 2C, 1D, 2D. Um, that was a little difficult to say, actually. Uh, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of nice. Um, but when I do seeds, I just kind of do all the same thing. Um, and one reason I really liked it is it has this tray with it. That again, I hope, you know, holds up. But, so when you water it, you, it has that nice little reservoir in the bottom that they can all share. Um, so that's, that was like the purpose of buying this. I, again, it doesn't have a dome. Um, but, so, like I said, you know, sometimes those can cause problems, mold issues and whatnot. So, hopefully this will work. Another great thing about these, uh, and not having a dome on them, is uh, you can do well, seedlings uh, and just transfer them in here to get them to grow a little bit more. Or cuttings. You can take little cuttings and stick it here and you don't, you're not limited by the height. Foreshadowing for a future project. Um, anyway, so, again, it's fill it up with dirt, and, uh, put seeds in it. Quick note. Again, I'm using America Grow Moisture Control. Most people, you need to use an actual seed starting mix. That's not going to be appropriate for seeds. Does it really matter? I mean, it might. I don't know. I don't think so. Um... Just, I mean, again, there's, there's no, you know, out in nature, there's, you know, there's not going to be different types of soil for the season for when the seeds need to sprout. It's going to be in the same soil that the parent plant was growing in. So, again, do with that information what you will. And, uh, this is how I do it. If you want to do it differently, you want to use a different soil, you want to do a seed starting mix, whatever. People use sand and all kinds of stuff. Um, go ahead. It, it, it'll be your plants. You do what you want with them. This is how I do things. Is it the best way? Probably not. Is it the right way? Who knows? But it's the way that I do it. Back to it. This is probably going to make more of a mess. So they are all 
nice and filled up, looking like a tray of brownies. Mmm, brownies. Anyway, I'm just gonna take well seed packs, and I'm going to. Uh, there's eight cells. There's four packs. Okay. We are gonna use this one in case a little too much comes out of one, and you know, whatever. And then I just need to carefully try to get half and you over here so you can see it a little better. Half in each cell. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna mix that up just a little bit. Alright. On for the rest. Now for this last one, I'm just going to uh, do, do a little bit in each one or something. Oh, all right. Um, now you can mix them in a little bit, whatever. I'll just do a total of these four here, just to mix them up a bit. And that's it. That's putting seeds in a seed starter mix, seed starter kit, whatever. Um, now I'm going to uh, water it. Um, now, you could pour the water over it, or you could lift it up and pour water in. Now, obviously, because of the holes and everything, there's now dirt in there, so when you go to reuse it, just clean it really good. Clean it out, you know, don't get any transfer of anything, you know. Um, I'm just going to pour water in the basin, and that, that, that'll that be that. Kind of do it like that. Now, I think this would become a bit of an issue when it's all drippy wet and everything. That might be an issue. Um, but, you know, just... You're dealing with plants. It's, it's going to be messy. Alright. My trusty water jug. I'm just going to... Pour some water in here. That may be too much. I'm not really sure. Hopefully it doesn't overflow as I set it back in. It's floating a little bit as it sucks it all down. Alright. There we go. It's now watered. And uh, I just did the water from underneath. Uh, when I get it set up, I'm going to spray bottle and I'll spritz the top just to make sure that all the seeds have some moisture content. Now let's go place it in a windowsill. Alright. So... There it is in the windowsill. It's a, uh, it's a uh, got some sticks. It's you can see it's a little floaty. As everything gets absorbed, that'll that'll settle down. See the water level there, maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, that should be pretty good. Uh, obviously, you place seed starters in windowsills. For sunlight, sunlight and some warmth, um, but out of the harsh elements. Um, depending on where you are, or temperatures, maybe a windowsill might not be the best, because let's face it, windows are kind of leaky. Uh, and uh, sometimes, the not the best choice. So, alternatively, you can place it on a heat source. Now, some people will obviously place it on a heat mat or something. This is, well, my, my big 75-gallon aquarium. And uh, this is the light bar. Light bar gets kind of warm. Plants need warmth. 
the weight isn't going to affect the, the light bar. I mean, maybe slightly, but not enough to worry about. And uh, so you either have light and not a lot of warmth, unless it's summertime, which then start them outside, uh, or you have warmth and not a lot of light. So the choices are yours. Do you put it in a windowsill? Do you put it on a heat mat? Do you put it on something else that has heat? Um, obviously, no open flames, anything like that. That would be a little ridiculous. Um, but take your pick. Grow some plants. Pick your plants. Pick your plants, not your nose. Something? I don't know. Anyway. That's today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Projects, ideas, and experiments. Be smart. Stay safe. Have fun. Pick your plants, not your nose. That just did not sound right, did it? All I can imagine now is going, pick, 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 pick at plants. I mean, they're both green. Anyway, till next time.